There are a lot of things I love about crafting, but two of them are the occasional puzzle and the way ideas sprout when you bounce them around with other people. This project hit both those buttons. See, recently I made these wattle fences and my friend Sean over at Full Moon Crafting Studios mentioned it would be a good way to do barbed wire fences. That got me wondering how one makes miniature barbed wire and after a bunch of experiments, here we are. I think this build will be great for trench crusade, bolt action or wasted world tables, but I'm sure you can find a place for it even on the battlefields of the 41st millennium. It's surprisingly easy to make, and though it takes some elbow grease, you can make about 2 feet of it in about half an hour. When I started off, I had no idea how to make barbed wire, so I looked up some tutorials online. I found a good one from Creative Twilight, which looks great. However, the thinnest wire I had available was this old telephone wire, and the knots turned out too large in proportion. Still, it was a good starting point, so I linked it below. I went through several iterations, trying out different barbing variations, till I decided that the wire was too thick as it was. So I ended up stripping it down to the copper. This was too fragile to knot, but I figured out a different way. I took two long strands to serve as the body of the wire, then put a shorter length of wire between them to make the barb. To hold everything in place, I twisted each side a couple of times around the main wires. Usually this locks it in place very firmly, but don't worry if there's something. It's easiest if you use a longer wire than you need, and then trim it off once it's locked. When I finished one length, I ran into another problem. The wire was far too fragile to twist using the power drill. It just kept breaking. I even tried to twist it by hand, but even that was too much. However, the solution was pretty straightforward. Instead of trying to twist the whole wire at once, I just started twisting it in sections. You hold it at the barb and give it 10 twists, making sure you're always twisting in the same direction. The barbs should be flat so they don't dig into your fingers, but if you find yourself getting perforated, maybe leave them a little longer and trim them later. It's also easier if you do it as you go along, so adding 5 barbs, twisting them, adding another 5 and so on. That way the bits you're not working on directly don't catch all over the place. To make posts for the fence, I glued some pieces from a long matchstick onto a large crafting stick and wrap the wire around a few times. Be aware that you're going to lose a lot of length in the wrapping. I had to use around 60cm of barbed wire to do the three lines on this 15cm section. I then dripped in some super glue to lock it in place. If you just glue the barbed wire along the side, you're going to get a lot more out of your material. After priming the whole thing black, I painted up the wood with my usual recipe, and then stippled brown and orange onto the wire to give it a rusty look. Then I went back and picked the tips of the barbs in silver. To base the piece, I made a paste of 10 parts dirt, 1 part sand and 1 part polyfiller, which I carefully mixed with water and PVA glue. I painted two layers of this on. It set solid and it already had a great earth color, so I was happy with that. Since this is something of a prototype, I only made one section of barbed wire fencing. I do plan to make a trench crusade board later on, but that's a fair bit down the uh, to-do list right now, so it's going to be a while. Still, knowing how to make this is going to be useful in future. Now, if you want to see something else you can make with telephone wire that would be useful for a trench crusade, check out this video about making candles.